What's up everybody, this is Parks Reese from Rec Tech Live and uh, just started the YouTube channel with a shop tour and uh, today I'm going back on some old footage to take a look at some shots that I got of when I was building the stage and how that came together. So a couple time lapses, a couple videos, a couple pictures. Hope you enjoy it. Alright, I'm going to attempt to narrate this. That's the old stage there. Uh, you can see it had a very weak frame and... Uh, those shots there are just of the demolition, taking the old stage out. Everything under the stage had to occupy all the space in my warehouse. That was uh, a slow build just because I didn't have any room. There's the uh, beginning of the new frame, which a lot of that came from scrap wood of the old frame, and then a bunch of new 2x4s. I built it in these uh, compartment sections so that uh, the floor would be exposed. I could roll stuff under there in between each framed out section. Uh, there's the plywood on top. And uh, because of the, the way I sectioned out the frame on the bottom, the plywood seams where they met together on top didn't meet up on top of framing. So I had to cut off all these little guys here to basically give something for every seam to grip into when I screwed it down from the top. Um, so a whole bunch of these things, pocket hold them all in, and uh, I think I got some footage coming up of me crawling around underneath the stage, which was... Yep, there we go. Um, there's the seam right there. So each one of those, I basically had to put another 2x4 underneath so they could uh, have something to grab into and also makes the stage a lot more sturdy. So it was a, a task to climb around. I'm actually surprised I got so much footage from uh, underneath because it was move a flashlight, move the camera, put up the framing, and uh, it was a tough process, but made it. There's another shot right there. You see that line going down there with no two by fours underneath it. So I just had to fill in all those throughout underneath. But it actually added a lot of rigidity to the stage. So I'm all right with it. And uh, the parts that were framed out underneath there where the floor is covered, I still wanted to be able to utilize that as storage space. So I started cutting out all these panels that would basically lay on top of them so I could roll cases under there as well. Uh, lose a little bit of height from the height of the 2x4 sitting on the floor, but uh, still gain a lot of storage from being able to still roll in those spaces. So there's a shot down the line with the framing on the bottom. I got to measure out. Uh, I measured out, I believe, every box, but maybe sometimes I would just do uh, the front and the back row a little different the way that the uh, uprights were laying down and all the rest were kind of the same. So. A um, whole bunch of those panels just cut out the little corners so that they could sit in around the 2x4s. Uh, just cut out the corners with a jigsaw there. And did that at least 600 times. This is me questioning whether I put it in the right way. No, I didn't. Turn that sideways, and there it goes in. And there's a, another shot from underneath. There's a couple panels already put in there. And I'm making my way back to the back. And you can see how it drops in around the 2x4s there. And I'm just going to drill each one of those down. So they actually can hold a lot. Um, pretty sturdy frame, and they're very secure. Uh, having to move the camera and the flashlight every time I go in and out. And here we are sanding the top. Which wasn't quite necessary, but I did want to add some uh, stain on top and not have it just be bare wood. So. There's the stain that I was painting on. It turned out okay, but not what I expected, but it's fine. It's going to get tore up anyway with gear and people and everything, so I don't know why I took so much time painting this thing. It was uh, not necessary. I should have just rolled over it with some latex paint and a paint roller. Uh, all that drape in the back, one, I had to move because it's actually like 20 feet tall, and uh, a lot of that was bunched up on top of the stage, so I had to paint underneath that. Again, didn't have to, but why not? And then when I put it back up, I put it back up about three or four feet higher um, just to get a little bit of that bunch up off of the stage and to cover more of the wall. And taking care of the sides there. And now that the stage is actually four feet shallower, I removed one of those side panels there, the one you still see hanging on the edge. Eventually, I don't know if I did it in this video. And then from here, 
what do we got next? Uh, there's a little glamour shot of the finished stage. Well, that'll about do it. I know I missed a bunch of stuff on that build uh, as far as the video goes, but uh, hopefully you got a good idea of what I was trying to accomplish with the storage underneath. And now I'm super happy it's solid as a rock and uh, I've had a lot of bands in here since that build that have done rehearsals and uh, even put on a few concerts in here and looking forward to doing more of that. So uh, keep watching, tune in and check out more.